went off yeah yeah we were flagged that was it we were discussing passionately about the distraction the protests the Yoruba Libras and the Igbo are working together look at one thing that you will notice about the Yoruba Libras now they started out condemning Tinobu for working with Buhari of Fulani yeah, that was what they were doing. But they completely ignored the fact that Tinubu also helped Jonathan, their candidate, to win twice. They ignored that fact. But why it is very convenient for these horrible Yoruba Libras in London to walk and hobnob with the Igbo. Igbo are actually behind all of this uh, Oduduwa Republic protest. It's a distraction. They the Yoruba Libra, they are comfortable, convenient, happy to work with Igbo. But they are telling Yoruba, uh, working with uh, Tinobu, not to work with Fulani. Does that make common sense? They are working with the Igbo. Look at the Igbo. 
they were on the streets together with the Yoruba agitating for the audio to do our republic. But at the same time, Mama Sope, he paid Tinubo, Budo, she shepherd Lufulani, but he didn't shepherd Luibo. And then you know another thing with the Yoruba Libras. Once I pay Tinubo, he show more eco, could he contest election, Leko, but one Ufu, Ibo, ni chance go contest Leko to PDP. Well, but what only problem but we ain't gigi and thing gigi so come jail or more vi till pay the other guy ni or more mushi. Show my way that guy is a Yoruba citizen from Kogi. From Kogi. But the Yoruba Libra saying that why is he representing Lagos? A Yoruba citizen from Kogi is representing Lagos. And the Yoruba Libras are not happy about that, but they want Igbo, who have no Yoruba blood at all, to be representing us in Lagos and across Yoruba land. Folks, the election in Odo State, believe you me, is going to be bloody because the Igbo are ready to come and vote in Odo State for PDP. And we're ready for them. Look at that guy. Are they, what is his name? <laughs> it's like you're like, you're, you're fully my leg. That man in Kogi who contested election, Fakeye, yeah, I think Fakeye or Faleke, he contested as a deputy governor, I think around 2015 or thereabout. He won with the governors. The governor died before the swearing in ceremony. Yet Buhari put uh, this current governor of Kogi, he put him as a candidate to replace the dead governor elect rather than for him to allow Fakeye to be the governor. That is self preservation. He put somebody that is not your about there. So, in all honesty, you think Tinubu would do otherwise. No, Tinubu will protect the interests of Yoruba. That is why they came with this protest. It's a distraction. The Igbo are behind the protest. The Igbo are funding, look at the Heritage, T, Heritage Multimedia. I don't call them TV. They don't have TV station. They just lie. That's the nature of Igbo. The guy, Ade Thomas, who is the owner of Heritage, is half Yoruba. It's not a full-blooded Yoruba man. Look at the way he was pressing in Amdekan when he brought him onto their platform. Look at the way he cut me short when they brought me onto the same platform. When I was talking, he cut me short. These are Igbo guys lying to you. The agitation for the Dua Republic is a pure distraction. They are trying to shave your mind from the goal. The goal is Tinubu. If Tinubu becomes president, we are 100% certain that there will be devolution of power. English don't want devolution of power, but they are so ridiculous. In their own country, they have devolution of power. Fulani don't want devolution of power. Igbo don't want devolution of power. At this stage, Faleke, thank you very much, Are. Faleke is the name of the guy. At this stage, any Yoruba, Tiko, Bamo, Igbo, Fekuro, Nigeria, any yet Yahweh. Igbo law because Igbo are just using propaganda. You understand? Saying that they want to get out of Nigeria. They are not. They are not interested in that. So when they are making noise about Biafra, it's a gimmick. When they made noise about Oduduwa, I can Libra have fucked up in their brain. You said that Tinubu working with uh, Fulani is wrong. <laughs> you are working with Igbo. Everyone will have choices to make. When Tinubu work with Jonathan, what did you say to that? So folks, don't forget this. Don't forget, the protest is a distraction. It is targeted at you, Yoruba. They don't want Tinubu to be president. So we have, we have moved, I think I can say, because of what we did on the 1st of October, frustrating the Yoruba Libra, we have a leverage to work on now. 
Because if the Yoruba Libra had succeeded, they would have destroyed Tinubu Prospect in 2023. This is how they started. All this Yoruba Libra that you see now asking for all due to the Republic, their forefathers, their grandfathers, they voted against Aulo. Their fathers voted against Abiola. It is their children that you are seeing now trying to attack Tinubu. Don't forget one thing, folks. Because we have been able to push them aside now does not mean that they are not planning another thing. Iba Gani Adam has bought into that stupid protest to make money. That is it. He wants to make money out of it. He will be sending OPC and OPU, particularly OPU abroad, to be making shit noise like Igbo. You will see more of that. He want to leverage on that to get money from the PDP. He will also get money from the Fulani APC. Because the Fulani APC will give him money to help them to destruct Tinobu prospect. It cannot. If, that's, I think, in his mind, in Iba Ghani Adam's mind, he put himself in the position of Akintola and Abiola because these guys were Ariel Nokaka and Fuan. They also contested for election and won. So he actually thinks that he can win a election. If I contest election with Iba Ghani Adam in Yoruba land today, I'll, I'll defeat him. People want honesty, integrity. People want people that have the brain mind, the brain power as well. The mind and soul committed to a course of action. He can't win election in Yoruba land. And he thinks he's making a mistake. He thinks that the position of Ariel Nakakavo is to contest election. No. It is not to contest election. It's to protect and safeguard the civilization of the Yoruba nation. And like I was saying, I think that Alavio for you is thinking very hard about appointing a bachelor. And that's when you will see that Iba Gani Adam will fall in line. There's likely to be a bachelor. And we will get that bachelor. So, don't fall for that, guys. I hope you guys can see me clearly. There is another thing. Guys, help me to share and love. There's another thing that we need to know. The Libra, they came up with the concept, unity. They were the people asking for unity in Yoruba land, saying that we want unity. Yoruba should unite. That was why Iba Ghani Adam turned OPU to Yoruba One Voice. It's the same people clamoring for unity. They were saying that Tinubu is this and that. There is no nation on planet Earth where its people are always united on something. Except where there is war. Look at England. There are four nations in UK. England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Scotland wants to remain part of the EU. Northern Ireland wishes to remain part of the EU. The Welsh, they were confused. They can't make up their mind. But the English want out of the EU. Did they united? They did not unite. The Libras, who are English, they are in Labour Party. The Conservatives, who are English, were in Conservative Party. When the Conservatives realized that the Libra were lying too much, they adopted organized violence. One of the MP was stabbed to death by Conservative. He stabbed a Libra, Labour Party MP. She was stabbed to death. That was the moment that the liberals in England realized that the conservatives are ready to get out of the EU, that they will go to war if they continue to be part of the EU. It was there in the news. One man just stood up, took a knife, and stabbed an MP to death. Because the majority of the English said that they want out of the EU because of immigration. 
People were trooping into their space unregulated. And things were so difficult for them, economically, politically. So the conservatives said, we have had enough. We want out of the EU. The liberals, they had the support of Obama, a liberal man, who was pushing the English to remain part of the EU. The liberals had the support of the globalists in the EU, putting pressure on England. And the conservatives were so fucked up in their brains, so stressed about the whole thing, to such an extent that they were willing to fight each other until they came out, stabbed one of the MP. That was the defining moment that the entire England realized that this is for real. They want out. If any attempt is made to stop them, there will be civil war in England. Pure civil war. So don't let the Yoruba Libra fool you that as Yoruba people, we the conservative and the Libra, we must unite. No, except if there is war on us. England, there has never been unity between the conservative and the Libra. They have always been on each other's throats, antagonizing one another. The Libras, do your own things. Allow the Yoruba conservative to do ours. The best way we think is right for us to do. Don't fall for their gimmick saying that we must unite. If you read the history of America about slavery, the conservatives who are today the Republican Party in America, they were the people who pushed for the end of slavery in America. The liberals rejected it. It led to war between the two of them. A lot of people were killed before the liberals were defeated and they accepted that there must be hand to slavery. You see that? The Caucasians in America did not agree. So the idea that the Yoruba must speak with one voice is stupidity. If we fall for that, folks, they are going to destroy Tinobu. If the liberal want to destroy you, they shout unity, unity, unity. The same liberals who were shouting for unity, they were jubilating when Tinubu's party lost a no election. Iba Ghani Adam granted an interview abusing Tinubu, but he stopped because the entire Yoruba nation started abusing him. He abused Tinubu, he has created a movement called Yoruba One Voice. He's the same guy that is abusing Tinubu. He supported Jonathan and he just did it. He supported Atiku, a full and citizen. When he gets to the stone of his own flesh and blood, you know, he started accusing him. He has created Yoruba one voice as a gimmick. If we conservatives should fall for the gimmick of the Libra, it's an attempt to destroy you. There is no civilization whereby people must unite over political ideologies. No. We, the conservatives, we want Oduduwa Republic. The best way for us to get to the Dua Republic, we have defined it for the entire urban nation. First, we need to go to America and lobby them. Why? Because the minority Fulani has the backing of the English, and the English are using weapon given to the Fulani to suppress and dominate the urban nation. First thing we do, we must go for the most powerful nation on earth so that they can be on our side. If America is on our side, we are halfway through. The second way of getting the Oduduwa Republic is to put your own son in power. We have had independence for 60 years, right? Look at the caliber of the people that have ruled Nigeria. Tafa Balewa was the first. He's a Fulani man. He was there for six years, 1960 to 1966. Agui Erosin came. He was there for six months. Igbo. Gowan came from minority ethnic groups. All of these are minority. Gowan was there for nine years. After Gowan, he was removed from power in 1975. Then Muritala Muhammad came, a Fulani. He was there for a year. Then Obasanjo came in 1976. He was there for about three years. Obasanjo is Igbo. Then he left in 1979. Shagari took power. Fulani man, he was there from 1979 to 1983. After Shagari came Buhari, another Fulani, he was there from 1983 to 1985. Then came Babangida, 
He was there from 1985 to 1993. He was there for eight years. Babangida is not Yoruba. None of these people are Yoruba. Then after Babangida left, he did an interim, gave power to Enes Shonekon, the first Yoruba, to assume the position of the headship of Nigeria. Shonekon was there for three months. You understand? Then Abasha came, took power from Shonekon. You understand? He removed him from office. Abasha was there from 1994 to 1998. Then Abu Salam came. He was there from 1998 to 1999. It's not Yoruba. Then Obasanjo came again in 1999. It's Igbo. He was there for eight years. He left in 2007. In 2007, Yaradua came. A Fulani. He was there till 2010. From 2010, and he just sees in Jonathan took power. He was there till 2015. From 2015, we are having Buhari of Fulani. You, Yoruba, you've never ruled Nigeria. You understand me? So the Libra will tell you, Kosin Kakanti Tinungu Ma Sheto Badebe, She Baba Sonja Ti Wang Government Ri, Oba Sonja Oki She Yoruba for crying out loud. Oba Sonja Oki She Yoruba. So they know that if a full-blooded Yoruba should assume the presidency of Nigeria, it would change Nigeria for good. And that is regional system of government. So they don't want that to happen. That's why they use all manners of gimmick on you. They're telling you, Yoruba must unite. If you work with them, conservative Yoruba, you work with the Libra, they'll finish you. I am so happy that we stop their useless rubbish 1st of October rally. And we will defeat them in Ondo State. That is the next action. Ondo State election will be bloody because the Igbo have prepared. They have changed their PVC location. They are coming from River State. They are coming from Anambra State. They are coming from Lagos State. They are coming from Imo State to come and vote in Ondo State. It will be bloody. That's why you see Sawolu, the governor of Oshun, all of them going, trooping him back to Ondo, doing everything humanly possible to secure that space. We're going to secure it. It will be bloody if the Igbo should come out on that election day. So you see, guys, we are doing everything to secure the interest of the Yoruba nation. We, the conservative that are in support of the APC Yoruba, we are the only one that can give you true and genuine Odudua Republic. That has always been our desire since 1967. We have always been clamoring for Odudua Republic. You see this Libra, they came about six months ago, they gave you horrible flag. You know what they are telling you? They are telling you that you full-blooded Yoruba, you are monk to nothing. That half Yoruba, half Igbo, will just sit down somewhere and then <laughs> develop a flag for you. You understand? That's what, yet we have been asking for Odudua Republic since 1967. They just came six months ago doing shit things because they are not full-blooded Yoruba. So they want to cheat you and tell you, Yoruba must unite. I have lived in England for 13 years. They have never united on anything political ideology. They are always separated along the conservative line and liberal line. And conservatives have always had their ways. They had their ways during the EU election. It resulted into a loss of life in which a conservative went and killed a liberal. They found out that the woman that was killed, her husband was working for a, an EU uh, organization, getting money from the EU. Out of hunger, they just went and killed her, which is painful, but this is what the situation degenerated into. The moment the Libra started using propaganda, abusing the conservative, emotion will be rising. And people will make inflammatory language. People will go to their strength to defend their own interests. That was what happened there. It's the same thing the Yoruba Libra are doing. That's why we call that we will fight them. Because you cannot just wake up one day, you said you wanted to do a republic. Fine, we all wanted the same thing. But why will you be attacking Tinubu because he has worked with Fulani when you are working with the Igbo? Look at it, they just want to pick and choose the argument. They were waving flag with the Igbo on the 1st of October in London, in India, and everywhere. They brought in Biafra flag, 
and the evil participated there. The evil had the people helping them, yet they are condemning Tinubu for working with Fulani. So, so they are so stupid people. They are so stupid. The ultimate goal of the evil is unitary system. Did you watch in the Kano video, recent one that he did with that heritage Facebook account? Yeah. Somebody asked him that, look, we have to go back to the 1963 constitution. He said, no, we must go back to the amalgamation of 1914. We just interpreted the constitution of Western Nigeria to you guys. There was a section in that constitution that repealed all the previous legislation and constitution that was made before the Yoruba constitution. So the 1914 amalgamation was repealed in the Yoruba Western Nigerian constitution. So you see, Igbo don't want Nigeria to break. Idiot Namdekan is saying that we should go back to 1914. No, we're not going to go back to 1914 because various ethnic groups travel from their various locations, went to London, sat for almost three years, negotiating for how Nigeria will be. In the Kano started threatening Arusa Fulani in 1953 because Arusa Fulani said they want heart of Nigeria. They don't want Nigeria. Stupid in the Kano saying that we should go back to 1914. There, there was nothing like Southern Nigeria or Northern Nigeria. No, we were different ethnic nations. He's saying we should go back to Southern Nigeria and Northern Nigeria. No, that never existed. The English created that identity. The best thing we can do is to go back to the 1959 constitution as amended in 1963. Tunubu should first revive that constitution and rewrite it to say that we will divide Nigeria into 10 or 15 regions. So if it is 10 regions, we have Yoruba region, Edo Urobo region, Ijo region, Efikibibo region, and Igbo region. Then Western Middle Belt, Central Middle Belt, Eastern Middle Belt, Kanuri region, and Awusa region. Simple. It's a simple thing. You ask that the kind of say, we are not going to go back to that. We go back to 1940. Who is going back to 1914, idiot? What happened in 1914? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Everything that happened in 1914 has been repealed by the respective regional constitution. So the only subsisting constitution is the 1963 constitution as amended, which the Yibo suspended in 1966. So you ask him, he was, was saying, he was saying that because he doesn't want Nigeria to break. What happened in 1914? They should ask him. He's talking about Southern Protectorate. What there, when God Almighty created the heaven and night, was there a nation called Southern Protectorate created by God Almighty? Was there a nation called Northern Protectorate created by God Almighty? No. God Almighty created Yoruba, Igbo, Edo, Urubu, and the rest of them. He did not create Southern Protectorate or Northern Protectorate. God Almighty did not create Nigeria. The English colonial tongues did. The option before us is to go back to what our founding fathers agreed to at Lancaster House in London. They sat down to agree to a constitution. If that constitution wasn't agreed to, that was part of my letter to President Trump. If that constitution wasn't agreed to, Nigeria would never have been created. It was because we agreed to that constitution that Nigeria was created. You understand? We all sat down. The Yoruba represented Edo Urobo and Western Niger. The Yibo represented Efik Ibibio and Eastern Niger. The Awusa Fulani represented the Middle Belt, Kanuri, and themselves. So you see, we all agreed to a regional system of government, parliamentary. So say, go back to 1914, idiot. When we were running, Yoruba started, we enacted our constitution in 1952. It became operational in 1954. You understand? We enacted the Nigerian constitution in 1959. It became operational on the 1st of October, 1960. The idiot saying, let's go back to 1914. Nobody is going back to 1914. What our founding father did was to say to the English, this amalgamation that you created in 1914, 
we don't like it. We want to create our own. And English said, fine. Then they sat down and every one of them bring their ideas. The Yoruba brought their ideas, the Igbo and Ausa and everybody, we all agreed to parliamentary system of government. It was not imposed on us by the English. No, it was not imposed on us by anybody. It was our own arrangement that the system that we will practice in Nigeria is parliamentary system based on regional government. That was why the Yoruba was a region. There was no Lagos, there was no Hogun being the, the, on their own, doing their own nonsense thing. No, the Yoruba was a block. All these states were prophecies under the Yoruba region. So the Yoruba always have a parliament. That parliament makes law for everything that happens in Yoruba land. But today, what do you have? The Lagos State Parliament makes law for Lagos State. The Oyo State Parliament makes law for Oyo State, which is ridiculous. There is no coercion. There is no integration. We have nobody that we are looking up to. That's why all of our governors are miserable. This is the system that we will go back to. Igbo don't want that. That's why they tell you, 1914, 1914, God will shame these people. Tinubu will become president. Folks, and I pray that all of us will be alive. Eh? You will see that the Igbo, their desire is the unity system. By the time Tinubu comes with the general government, Igbo will go onto the street rejecting it. Tinubu is going to shock them. He's going to give them Igbo region. They will become the Lesotho of Nigeria. They don't want it. That's when you we will shame them. They have never desired the breakup of Nigeria. Do you see the news now? Just two days ago, South African people are, so, are again asking that the Igbo should leave their space. I wish you all the best, South Africa. If you chase them away, they will be telling you they are from Lagos. South Africans who are watching me, Igbo are not from Lagos. No, Lagos belong to Yoruba people. They are foreigners, immigrants in Lagos. They are not from Lagos. Don't fall for their gimmick. Chase them away from your country because they are common criminals. Let me say this, folks. In all honesty, Regardless of the fact that we are two opposing political ideologies in Yoruba, land, the conservative Yoruba APC and the liberal Yoruba PDP, in all honesty, every single full blooded Yoruba citizen, listen to me very well, every single full blooded Yoruba citizen, your father is Yoruba your mother is Yoruba, then you are a full-blooded Yoruba citizen. Every one of us, we want what to do our report. In all honesty, trust it. The Yoruba who desire Nigeria are predominantly Afro-Yoruba citizens. We actually want what to do our republic. That is the truth of the matter. We are fed up about the oppression of Nigeria. We are completely fed up. And every true, full-blooded Yoruba citizen, the majority of us, if we cannot get to the dual republic, we will accept regional government. The majority of us, more than 80%, will accept. So it's an appeal to the full-blooded Yoruba citizen in PDP. Your party is not good. Everybody knows it. And as a political party, you can have a meeting, sit down, learn from the Democrats in America. They pretended to love black people, use them to get power, and they protect the interests of the Caucasian first and foremost. That's what they do. Yoruba Libras in PDP, you are full-blooded Yoruba. Learn the game from the Labour Party in England. They use immigrants to win election. When they get power, they protect the interests of the English first and foremost. That is something you should strive to achieve. Look at what happened at the rally abroad. You saw Igbo and Yoruba Libras hobnobbing together, waving flags, right? Interesting. 
Both of them agree that Fulani are the problem. The Igbo don't see themselves as the problem. So they say the problem is the Fulani, but the questions to you, Yoruba, full blooded one, PDP, ask yourself why was it difficult for the Igbo to support Fayoshi to get the PDP presidential ticket in 2019? Why did they give the ticket to Atiku? Now you are waving flag together, attacking Fulani. Atiku is Fulani. This is all games of the Igbo. They don't love you. They are just using you Yoruba Libra because you are half Yoruba, half Igbo. Now you wave flag together. You agree that Atiku uh, uh, Fulani is the problem. 2023 is around the corner. Why not the Igbo that are waving flags with the Odudua agitator? Who are Libra? Why don't you appoint one of the Odudua dictators, Akiwumi Adesha, the current president of African Development Bank? Why don't you give him the presidential ticket of the PDP? Let Tinobu get the presidential ticket of the APC. Since that you, Leo Ruba, Libras, and Igbo, you have identified your problem, Fulani, put your body as president. So when you have two Yorubas, then support your own additional, then you will become president. Folks, this is the bad news. The Igbo who are waving flags with, with the Yoruba, they don't love Yoruba at all. This is distraction. Shall they know that Biafra has failed. Now their latest weapon is Odudua Republic. Tell these people, if truly you want Nigeria to break, look for a Yoruba citizen who want Nigeria to break, make him the presidential candidate of the PDP and root for him, support him, contribute money to his campaign, do everything. All the noise you are making abroad, all the noise you are making on social media, all the people that you are going to, Start going to everybody and say, this is the man. This is the man that will give us Biafra. This is the man that will give us Odudua Republic. Go and vote for him in 2023. You will get your Odudua Republic. You will get your fake Biafra. Right? Fuck, they won't do that. Igbo will never support a full-blooded Yoruba as the president of Nigeria. Igbo are going to be chased out of Yoruba. Now. Mark it down. They will never do that. This is a legitimate question. If you could go onto the streets, to protest with the Yoruba. I haven't seen any Yoruba going onto the street protesting with the Igbo. But you Igbo, you are coming out of your comfort zone to stand in the rain and in the bad weather to wave your flag with the Yoruba. Use your common sense if truly you want Nigeria to break. Pick a Yoruba citizen who wants Nigeria to break. Make him your president. Start rooting for him. Start telling people, like you are waving flag, you are shouting out the Dua Republic. Start telling people that this is the man that will give us the Dua Republic. This is the man that will give us the Dua Republic. All your followers, tell them to vote for him. Why don't you want to do that? Because your old Dua Republic agitation is all due. You don't mean well for the Yoruba nation. The Igbo who are supporting you is a shame on you. They did the same thing in 2019. Fire share as a sitting governor confronted Buhari, fighting for Inamdekan. Fire share started funding Hypop from the Kitty State funding. Fire share was going to court challenging Buhari that he was wrong to put Inamdekan in prison. Fire share stood for Inamdekan at the risk of his life. Inamdekan was granted bail. He then escaped abroad from Nigeria with the funding and support of Fayoshi. But when the time came for the PDP presidential primaries, Atiku was instructed by Fulani, go ye into the PDP camp and get the presidential ticket. Atiku gave $5,000 each to each delegate from Igbo land. They deliver the vote for Atiko. They completely ignore Fayoshi. Who stood by them? All of these Yoruba that are hobnobbing with the Igbo. Igbo will never give the ticket of the PDP to you. So if you guys are truthful, if you guys are honest, 
If you get truly desire of the Dua Republic, it is time for you to play politics. Put a Yoruba citizen who is pro the Dua Republic as the presidential candidate of the PDP for 2023. Then let such an individual compete and contest with Tinobu. Sure banker to get to the Dua Republic. But folks who are watching us at home, we, the conservative Yoruba, we're very honest, we're very genuine. We want to do our republic. It's a three-way thing. We lobby America. We put Tinubu as the president of Nigeria. If these two options fail, organized violence. We blow up a Papa Wolf. We blow up Tinker Port. We blow up Lagos International Airport and Lagos Stock Exchange. We blow them up. Simple. We will get you to do our republic. You see, we're very clear. Look at the Yoruba Libra. They just want to protest. My mother was leading Nubife, Bankers Association of Nigeria, Western Region uh, area. She was arrested several times by Fulani. Protests has never worked. You see, they are now doing the same thing, saying that we want to protest. Now they have gone home. Today is 3rd of October. They have been relaxing for the last three days. Everything is over. They have sold their T-shirt and face cap make money they are going back to their home these guys are not honest these guys are not genuine these guys are unreasonable this guy would they do not want to do a republic it's a big distraction the target is tinobu is the only guy that can give you the do republic they expected tinobu to join them and say i'll give you the right doesn't need to that was how you push abiola and stupid people they were pressing me saying that oh you started this agitation. They were pressing me and I said to them, if truly you respect the fact that I started this agitation, why don't you flow with Tinubu because you believe me. So I will not get it from when I said to you to support Tinubu if you want to do our republic. So guys, they don't want to do our republic. But I appreciate the full-blooded Yoruba, whether in APC or in PDP, we are tired of Nigeria. The half Yoruba are not tired. They want that unity because their father is Igbo or their mother is Yoruba. They want one Nigeria because in their heart of hearts, they believe that if Nigeria breaks, they are fucked. Your life is not fucked. I have cousins that are half English and half Yoruba. <laughs> the guy that is behind our chemical weapon is half Israeli half Yoruba. His father is Israeli. His mom is Yoruba. Look at that. But he lives all his life as a Yoruba man. These guys are not honest, guys. They are not honest. So we are challenging you. All of these things you've done. You, you remember when they used propaganda saying that, oh, the biggest sheep has docked in Niger Delta. In South South. So the government is now moving all the ship down to South South to decongest the port in Lagos. They interviewed the fake Yoruba guy who called himself a Kiwumi. It's not. He spoke about that. I read it. I was just laughing. I, I didn't even share it with, with my colleagues in Wawa. The guy said that look, all the ports, on the port, Delta port, Port Akron port, they are shallow ports. They, they are not containerized ports. That look, all this noise that they want to move everything down away from Lagos is practically impossible. There's no infrastructure for that. And they continue to use propaganda. We are the economic backbone of Nigeria. We, the Yoruba people, we're going to rule you from 2023 the same way the white rule in America and the English rule in Britain. That's what we're going to do. So, guys, I want you to think long and hard about this. Let us tell the stupid in Amdekano, he's a propagandist by excellence. When Fai or she helped you, you supported that people. <laughs> you supported that people. So I'm happy that we stopped this rally. But folks, on those state elections is the most important thing for us. We must get that state, APC. We must give it to Akere Dolu again. We must give him his second term. He's, he's done some horrible things that we dislike, but all in all, 75% he has he's done well, 
It is the irresponsible nature of his wife that has caused some Yoruba conservative to be so concerned about that guy. But 75%, let us give it to him. He's done greatly. He's building us a port. And he has turned Ondo State into an industrial hub. He's done greatly. The health care in Ondo State is, is one of the highest standards. Uh, so let us give it to him on the 10th of October. And then we will use the status of assembly members who are PDP. If you give it, uh, well, no, not PDP, APC. If you give the vote to APC, then we we'll use them to control his SSCs in future. Because we need to control the SSCs of his evil wife. It's, it's very ridiculous and we have to accept that. But regardless, he's done 75% credibly well, if not 80%. Let us give it to him and say to the Yoruba Libra, you walk with Igbo, you wave the flag together, you shouted onto the streets together, demanding for Ududua Republic because the agitation of Biafra has failed and it has failed woefully. We said it, they will never get Biafra. But if the Igbo started clamoring for Igbo nation, with the exclusion of Edo Urobo, Ijo, Efiki Igbo, believe you me, Buhari will give it to them. Because Buhari knows that they will be landlocked. He will give them their Igbo nation. But they don't clamor for Igbo Republic. They want Biafra that will never come to pass. So now they have moved their attention to what the Dua Republic. It's all about money. And I said to you in the beginning of this lecture, look, all the Yoruba Libras in the PDP, they are worried that, look, Lagos is not in their hands. If Tinubu should contest in 2023, and he wins the presidency, <laughs> he's still going to control the Yoruba nation. They are going to be messed up for another eight years. No money. Because of their personal interests, not the Yoruba national interest. Because if Tinubu should get power, he will control the center and to control the Yoruba region. These PDP guys, including Iba Ganyada, will be heart of money. They will be broke. Hey, shit. That is the reason why they are trying to constitute nuisance and blocked in Ubu prospect. We are all playing politics. And we said to you guys, because we also have interest, we don't want to live abroad. The Yoruba at home, we want us to control our wealth in Yoruba land. We don't want Fulani to control our police anymore. We don't want Awusa Fulani and Hebo to control our military. We don't want Awusa Fulani to control our immigration in Yoruba land anymore. We don't want Awusa Fulani to be in charge of our customs in Yoruba land anymore. We don't want our Safran to control our airports in Yoruba land anymore. We don't want them to control our seaport. We don't want them to control anything in Yoruba land. We don't want them to control our taxes. We don't want them to control our political economy in Yoruba land anymore. That's why we need Tinubu. If Tinubu is the president of Nigeria, he will allow the Yoruba to control everything in Yoruba land. You and I that are abroad will come home. We'll be happy. Our children will come home. We will be, including the Yoruba currently in Yoruba, we will be in charge of all of these things that I've mentioned. Some of you who are living abroad, some of you are working with the U.S. military, some of you are working in the U.S. police or in the state police in America. You guys will come home and run the, the Yoruba police. You will come home and run the Yoruba military if Tinubu is the president. So you don't need to go into politics to be lobbying to be commissioner, to be lobbying to be minister. No. You guys will come. Some of you Yoruba, you are working in places in America, in France, in Germany, in England, in good places. We will need your ingenuity to run our airport. We have a Yoruba citizen who is running different airport abroad. We will bring him, Ogunesi or something, we will bring him home to run Lagos International Airport for us. We're going to build another port in Ibadan. We're going to build one in Akure. Fantastic. Yoruba that are well experienced. We're going to bring them, but they will be running it because they are Yoruba citizens. You don't need to go into politics saying that you want to be minister, saying that you want to be board members. You guys will run our immigrations. You guys will run our customs. You guys will run everything. You see, there's a way we collect taxes abroad. For instance, which is sophisticated. You guys will have to put data in place. You have the experience. You bring in your technology, your fingerprint technology, that everyone in Yoruba will have ID card the moment you are 16. You have ID card. 
you, do you know how jobs are going to be created if we decided now? If we go back, if Tinubu becomes president, we go back to regional government, we now have a prime minister for your urban region, and one of the priorities of the prime minister is to build roads, infrastructures. Do you know how many jobs are going to be created? Do you know the state of our road sheet? And then we now said we want to be building affordable houses. Do you know how many of you are living abroad with all experience in estate management? that you will come home without experience in constructions, you come home, you get contract, you will be building massive houses that government will be purchasing from you to give to your rubber people. Your rubber land will become a manufacturing hubs for West Africa before we capture the Central Africa and then the East Africa. Hmm? Do you understand? You don't need to go into politics. You leave politics for us who are politicians and we have the brain power. So what you guys need to do is let us put Tinobu there. Ignore this Yoruba Libras. The moment we put Tinobu there, I am certain 100% it will devolve power to the Yoruba region. The moment it devolves power, you guys will come home. Just in Yoruba and who are Yoruba, we just work together and make Yoruba land great. This, is, this should be your concern. Don't let the, don't let us lose the focus. There is much more to gain if we put Tinobu there. It's going to give you to do our republic in the long run. Okay, imagine you put Tinobu there today and he says, I want to devolve power. The Igbo are saying no, we have to continue with the unitary system. The Awusa are saying no, we have to continue with the unitary system. Tinobu as the president speaks to the Yoruba. The Yoruba nation say no, we want out of Nigeria if there is no regional government. Tinubu will just announce to the Igbo and Fulani, the, well, I'm going to give you the unitary system that you desire. He will say to the Awusa Fulani, you desire the unitary system, you're going to have it. Igbo, you desire the unitary system, you're going to have it. Yoruba, you want out of Nigeria, I'm going to give you. Igbo and Fulani will be shocked. They will say, oh, oh no, 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 hold on, hold on a second. It's the regional government that you want, we allow it. You put your son there to help you to change the course of history. Don't let the attack on Tinubu, change your focus. And don't think that every one of us will have to go into politics. Look at me, I'm a politician. That's why my public life is, is in the public. Everything that happens to me, the public knows. Do you want to go through that stress of exposing yourself? Anyone that goes into public office as politician, you are going to be exposed. In fact, as a matter of fact, they use politicians in England and America to help to shape their society. So you know, uh, politicians are seen as people that must be very clean. So that's why their public life is always in the open. It is not every one of us that want to go through that stress. Leave that for those of us that have already embraced that. You be private individuals. You get back your regional government, you help us to shape your Yoruba. Let Igbo shape Igbo land. Let Awusa and Igbo shape their own future in their own space. Only a Yoruba citizen that is full-blooded can give us what to do our republic as president of Nigeria. We will get it easily under Tinobu's presidency. It is not going to be Tea Party folks. We will force it upon him. Look at what happened during Obasanjo's presidency. The Fulani came out saying that they demanded for Sharia. He gave them because they were the people who put him in power. Look at the Igbo. The Igbo said to Obasanjo that they want to control his government. He gave them the power. Igbo were everywhere controlling Obasanjo's government. So if you put your son in power as Yoruba, we demand for Odudua Republic straight. We said, look, we're getting Odudua Republic without a return to regional government. We don't want states as federating unit. No, we want regions as federating unit. Regions should control the state. States should control the local government. Local government should control the world. The world should control the native authority district. So you see, guys, it's very simple. So to round up, to round up tonight, we're going to get some music again. again. To round up tonight, Igbo, you are criminals. You supported the Dua protest, right? Are you going to give the ticket of the PDP to a Yoruba citizen? A full-blooded one? Are you? You will not. All of your support for the Dua Republic is fake. It is not true love. You hate Yoruba nation. As a matter of fact, Hebrew nation is the number one enemy of the Yoruba nation. So we have noted your support 
for the Odio Odudua Republic. We will challenge you towards 2023 why you will give your ticket to non Yoruba again. Because you control the PDP. You control the PDP. Fire is still standing in PDP. As a matter of fact, Fire will be a great president. It's a full blooded Yoruba. Look at the way Amana is supporting Tinobu because it's full blooded. Now we're challenging you, Hibo and Yoruba Libra. Give the ticket to Fire if you think Akin Wumi Adeshina is not worth it. Make Fire your presidential candidate. Come and see sophisticated election in Yoruba. Nobody will kill each other. Fire PDP, Tinobu, APC. We will gladly go on to the poll. It will be very peaceful. Head or tail, a full-blooded Yoruba will be president of Nigeria. So we're challenging you. All of you Yoruba Libra making noise abroad. We are telling Iba Ganyada because he's a PDP member. Stop your shenanigans. Saying to OPU to be roaming the streets in Europe like TPD Igbo. No, your party is PDP. Speak to the Igbo that are giving you money because you don't get money from Tinubu or it's, or it's unfortunate. It is because of your attitude. It's very, very unfortunate. The Igbo, you are getting money from them. Tell them to give a full-blooded Yoruba the tickets of PDP. They can't give you because you can't contest to be president of Nigeria. Forget it. You won't win. No. Support a full-blooded Yoruba. There's so many of them. Some of them are in your uh, Arian Kakanfu castle. Yeah. Bring them up. Tell the Igbo. Let's support this guy. Put him there. And you say to him, if you win, go and break Nigeria. Shebi is the mandate. Everybody, when Buhari won the election, he has a mandate from the Fulani. When Obasanjo won the election, he has a mandate from the Fulani. Before Obasanjo became president, he was in prison. Fulani went to him and said, look, we are going to kill Abiola because he's refusing to renounce his mandate. Obasanjo said, yes, kill him. And if we kill him, we are going to make you the president. They negotiated and he agreed. So PDP, go and make Fire Shea your presidential candidate. Negotiate with him that if you become president, you will give us Odudua Republic and Biafra Republic. If he agrees in principle with you, push for his candidacy. It's, it, is a, it is as simple as ABC. So guys, that is it. So let's enjoy this. appropriate to round up what we are saying. If truly, if truly we want the Odudua Republic, the option is for the Yoruba Libras who are agitating for Odudua Republic now to work with the Igbo and present a Yoruba citizen as the candidate of the PDP who will break up Nigeria. And for us, the Yoruba conservative, to work with Tinobu, we know that Tinobu will devolve power back to the region. And if the Igbo and Fulani refuse, then Tinobu will break up Nigeria. So that is it.
don't Yoruba 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 I 
and I like it so after that I'm going to sh shut that it's Jerusalem Okay, good night, sir. I'm my chest. 